back for my weekly movie review now as always make sure you help me out and hit the subscribe button and then every wednesday on time you'll be able to see me with my new movie reviews so the movie that i did see is the suicide squad now if you haven't seen it i want to let you know there are some major major spoiler alerts that i'm going to talk about so please be cautious of that when you're listening to this but let me go ahead and jump right into it now you know we have marvel and then we have dc now marvel was bought by disney so the movies are like pg-13 stuff like that you can see your kids it's a little bit of mild violence but with DC, the character's a little darker, and this one was rated R. So I kind of didn't know what to expect, but whew, boy, was I kind of in for it when I saw this movie. It is complete gore fest. You did bring back some of the characters from the last one, and that would be Harley Quinn. You did bring back Rick Flagg, and then, of course, Amanda Fuller. You know, Viola Davis is not playing. She keeps them in check. But you didn't bring back a lot of the other characters. I mean, you didn't bring back the Joker, which I would have liked to see. And then Will Smith is Deadshot. And a lot of people thought that Elvis Ibra was going to go ahead and replace him as Deadshot. But they went ahead and gave him his own character, which is Bloodsport. And I was happy about that. Because as Will should know, and people who watch their first print, we do not like when you switch up people the characters but you keep the same name like with aunt viv we do not play that so anyway you do introduce it to some new characters you know like john cena the peacemaker and pete davison you also have um shark you know his voice was from sylvester stallone which was very it was odd it was just really odd but you some of the other characters yes you introduce them to us but you kill them before the credits even come up so I, I i didn't understand what was the purpose of that um you did give me some eye candy when all of them together in their scene which is peacemaker blood sport and rick flag so i was kind of feeling that it kept me engaged for a little bit you know but outside of that it was a complete horrible movie it was like trash i promise it was not good the gore to it the uh, horror to it and then you tried to throw in some like late night comedy type jokes from the late night show i just felt that it was really really underdeveloped in a lot of parts the storyline just completely fell apart you have these people these villains are super villains superheroes trying to kill a starfish a giant starfish how cheesy can you get not even a scary starfish you have a pink and blue starfish going through the town knocking stuff messing stuff up it reminded me of the stay puff marshmallow man from ghostbusters for real it's just the cheesiest thing then it turns into a giant woman you know so i just thought it was really cheesy it was really gory for no reason you're ripping people apart their guts are pouring out i mean i did not like this movie i would give it a three out of ten and that's just because harley quinn is my girl and the second thing is john cena this is why I am in my Halloween costume because of John Cena. He really inspired me with that outfit that he had on. I mean, I I have to tell you, it looks like something that you would have seen at the Halloween store. I actually think I did see that at the Halloween store. And then with the gloves, oh my gosh, those look like dishwashing gloves. It was just crazy. So with that being said, I don't know. If you do decide to go see it, I would make sure you wouldn't go on a full stomach. Or if you do decide to stream it, make sure those kids are not around because they don't need that stuff stuck in their psyche. I'll see you next time.